It was around a long before us. Sure, some of the recipes has changed, but having an afternoon cocktail is still a tradition in some parts. You can experience those drinks of old Saturday at the Rutherford Beat Hayes Presidential Center in Fremont. Christina Smith is here with the details. Uh, this is uh, in combination with an exhibit that you guys have right now. And tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so our exhibit is uh, Demon Rum and Cold Water. <laughs> and um, it's, it's a fun title mm -hmm. and it talks about the temperance movement. Mm -hmm. And temperance was kind of the precursor to prohibition but mm -hmm. definitely different than prohibition. Okay. Um, so this is just a fun way to kind of tie in the exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have some living history presenters. When you come to the event, you can come see the exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly the temperance movement was about drinking in moderation. And so how, how was the president and first lady in, involved with this? So they were very involved in the temperance movement. They were not for prohibition, which mm -hmm. I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, they kind of felt uh, that, that you should drink in moderation. Mm -hmm. First Lady Lucy Hayes did not drink at all, but mm -hmm. she didn't want to force her beliefs on other people. Okay, all right. So, so you've got this great exhibit that you've had uh, that you can experience, but uh, you've got some some beer to go along with the cocktails too. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Yeah, so we're going to have several breweries coming. Um, we have Black Frog and Ernest Brew Works from here in Toledo, mm -hmm. Finley Brewing Company, Wildside Brewing Company from Grand Rapids, and some other breweries coming. Um, so you can get samples of some great craft beer. Um, we're going to have samples of historic cocktails, and your tickets include both. So you get to try things like the Corpse Reviver, which sounds kind of uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> um, so I'm not exactly sure what's yeah, in we'll it, find out, but right? yeah, you definitely want to give that a it try. Won't kill you though, right? <laughs> right, right. It's going to revive you. So wow, interesting. So, so yeah. you'll you'll get to taste maybe something you've never tried before. Right. Yes, definitely. Some of these historic cocktails I've never heard of, and then mm -hmm. some are more familiar, like the old fashioned. Okay. So it, it'll be you an interesting experience. Get your classics experience. too. Yes. Yeah. You'll have some classics, and then some unusual ones with kind of fun names like the Corpse Reviver. Mm -hmm. What made you guys say, we're going to do this? <laughs> well, it just seemed like a fun way to um, connect people to the exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, temperance is, it's an interesting issue and it's kind yeah. of a way to educate people, but also just kind of to come out and have a good time and try some craft brews and mm -hmm. sort of learn about the drinks from the time. What was, what is your maybe more like your favorite thing about the exhibit that you learned that you were like, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> uh, one of the things I thought was really interesting is just how much more alcohol they drank back then mm. than we do today. Mm -hmm. in, in the exhibit, there's actually a bar and it has all these bottles that show the average amount of whiskey that people drank back at the time. Um, and it's way more than what we drink today because mm -hmm. back then the water the, wasn't so good. Sure. Um, so they would drink alcohol. It was safer, breakfast. yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, they thought it was a safer way to go. So um, the other thing about the temperance exhibit that I find really interesting is women were kind of the leaders of that uh, movement. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a women's history thing as, as well. Hmm, okay, very interesting. So these are all the different types of things that you can learn when you come down, um, but also get to experience a little bit too, and yes. uh, get a couple drinks as well. Yes. So how much does it cost? What, what does that get you? Well, so for Hayes Presidential Library and Museums mm -hmm. members, the tickets are $20, okay. and they include 10 uh, four-ounce samples of the beer and then a flight of the historic cocktails. So you get to try Fun. both. Uh, for non-members, the tickets are 25 mm -hmm. And then we also have a designated driver ticket that's $10, and that has pop and water. So if you have your designated driver sure. or you just want to come and have a good time, and um, not included in the ticket price, but we will have them, there are some food trucks. So you can come get some food. Mm -hmm. There'll be a band. Um, so it's just going to be a fun night. You'll have living history presenters you can mm -hmm. interact with. Lots of fun. Uh, what time does it all get started on Saturday? Uh, starts at 5 o'clock on Saturday, goes till 8 o'clock. Nice evening out. Maybe grab a sitter for that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> good stuff, all right? Thanks for coming today. Thanks for Appreciate having me. It. Yep. And thank you for making us part of this Tuesday morning.